Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been having a really lovely week. Um, so this morning I just wanted to jump on and make a quick video for you guys. Um, I was sort of playing around last night with my embroidery here and I'm just going to move my cup of tea out of the way, sorry guys. Um, I was playing around with my embroidery here and just making some little lazy daisy stitch flowers and I really wanted to turn these into embellishments for journals somehow. So my thought process was to make up a bunch of these and then I'm going to cut them out in little squares and I'm going to play around with them. Um, I'm not too sure yet, <laughs> but I thought I would just stop here sort of halfway and I'll do a little bit of stitching on camera, then I will jump off finish up these. I've got I've got here some smaller flowers I want to try as well um, and then I'll jump off finish up the rest of the flowers and then I thought maybe we could play around with them and just see uh, how we can make some journal embellishments out of them. Um, as you guys know I love stitching, I love fabrics and all that kind of thing and I like to incorporate them into my journals so this is just something I was playing around with. I was just relaxing last night and embroidery for me is really, really relaxing. I just love playing around with it. I had popped on a video where a lady was making these little flowers and she had done it so that if you can see the ends of these wee flowers here have got different colored tips to secure the petals. So I had done contrasting thread on all of these little flowers here. So. I'm going to continue on. I'm going to stitch one flower and then I'm going to jump off, finish them and yeah, like I said before, sorry guys, it's early here and I'm still, I'm struggling to wake up this morning so, and I have a lot to do today but I really wanted to play around with this idea so yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, quickly stitch um, another little flower here and Hopefully you guys, I wonder if I should just zoom you guys in. Sorry if I wobble a little bit. But I might zoom you guys right in. That way I can uh, lean over a little bit. And I hope that's focusing okay here. It's a little bit tricky to do stitching like this on camera. Um, especially because when you're normally doing embroidery, I've got this really close to my face so so yeah it's kind of like having to do it when you're further away so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna stitch these little ends in here just for the little uh, bits at the end because I'm gonna sew my petals through here it's not it's not really a tutorial but I just thought maybe you guys would want to see me stitching a little flower and then and then we'll carry on and do all the fun stuff with it. So I hope you guys have been having a really lovely week. It's been a very busy week in my household here and I haven't been feeling too well this week so I've been resting a bit. Um, but actually Today's a very, very busy day. I've got a lot to do with my son and his schooling today. I've got exams to supervise. I've got, I'm also packing. I'm going on a little bit of a trip tomorrow and I'm actually going to bring you guys along with me. We are traveling about, oh, it's about three and a half hours. I'm going to say south west. Yeah, because we're southeast. Um, into a little country town in New South Wales so yeah I'm going to be heading out there early tomorrow morning and we'll be staying down there the night and just checking out some of the local festivities that are down there and of course you guys I'm going to be checking out all of the op shops and the antique shops down there and also on the way so I thought I would make some videos for you guys and hopefully we'll find some cool stuff I'm, I'm really hoping so anyway but I'm not sure how the op shops are and and more of the country towns maybe I don't know if they've got even better stuff or if maybe they don't have as much good stuff because they're more rural I'm not sure so it'll be interesting but hopefully you guys will see a video on my thrifting adventures <laughs> on the road 
um, probably next week sometime after I've done getting back and editing and all that kind of stuff so so yeah we're gonna take a bit of a slow drive um, down tomorrow so it's supposed to take around about three and a half hours um, if you're just driving straight there but we don't plan to do that so hopefully yeah and I'm hoping to also chase some beautiful autumn leaves down there it's a little bit cooler in land and yeah so hopefully hopefully they'll have some nice leaves all right so I've just stitched all around there this is just going to secure our little petals in place so I'm just going to snip that. Don't mind my mess. I'm going to zoom you guys. Sorry guys. I'm going to make you dizzy. It's a bit messy here on the back. I've got to neaten it up a little bit. Okay. So that's my green. I'm going to pop that aside. And then I have chosen this... Oh, I'm, I don't know. Is this a coral? Might be a bit of a coral. So I've tried to make all my flowers different colours. I got a lot of threads from a lovely lady in Denmark. Her name is Margretha, I think her name is. Um, she actually has a channel here on YouTube too. I think it's called Rosa, Rosa Raptor. Anyway, she sent me an amazing, amazing parcel. And in it was a lot of stuff from my favourite store. And there are lots of these threads, so it's just I've just been pulling all these out and and using them in this. So thank you so much, Margaretha, for all of the amazing things you've sent me. And I've had a lot of lovely people sending me amazing gifts lately. So I really want to say thank you to everyone who's done that. So I'm just gonna thread this, guys. And I don't split any of the threads up for these little flowers. I think maybe they're supposed to be six strands. I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm just going to start here. and I'm going to do my little flower. There's lots of tutorials on how to do Lazy Daisy Stitch here on YouTube. It's really, really great for learning, actually, because I'm more of a visual learner. So, so yeah, so if you can just see, I've just slipped my um, thread under here and I'm just going to pull that up. I tend to always um, put too much thread on my needle because I really don't like when I'm making something and it runs out. <laughs> so I always have too much thread. So there's my first little petal here. And I have just gone up through here and back down and I'm going to do the same and I'm going to do that all around and that's just me making another little flower and then I'm going to go off and I'm going to finish them all and hopefully we can make some sweet little embellishments out of these I have a new journal that I made oh gosh was it at least a week ago I think um, I follow this amazing, oh, actually two amazing ladies on Instagram. Uh, I think one's from Russia and one's from Spain. And they are called Chaotic Journal. And I bought one of their kits, which was their tea and coffee journal kit. And I made a journal, like I just, I just got the uh, package in the mail a couple of weeks ago and I made a journal out of it and their style is just if you guys uh, don't know them you should definitely check them out they're just absolutely amazing beautiful beautiful journals so yeah I made a, a journal here just the other day and chaotic journal definitely pop over and check them out because they just have stunning stunning work they make these beautiful roses and this is their tea and coffee journal kit. I believe the kit's sold out now, but you can still get their video tutorial. Um, they do speak in Spanish and Russian. Um, so I do follow along visually, but you can actually hit the subtitles button on 
YouTube and it can translate some of it so so that's what I do um, but like I said I'm, I'm a visual learner so it doesn't really bother me if people are speaking in other languages um, I can just follow along what they're doing unless they're talking about products they use and things like that but generally I, I sort of know what they're um, talking about by what they're showing and things like that so so yeah, I'm really, really happy with how my journal turned out and I'm looking forward to playing around in it. And they use a lot of, um, I believe that this is actually, the material here is actually made from a bedspread, like a, a doona cover or a quilt cover. So really, really unusual fabrics and things like that they use. I'll just finish up these petals here guys so I've got to pack today and oh goodness I think some threads coming through there oh no um, I've got to pack today I've got to supervise an exam today and then I have to participate in a oh goodness sorry I pulled that out. I have to participate in an exercise video which yay for me <laughs> my son he has to do for his PE class and at first I said no I'm not doing that ask your brother if he can help you I want to be on camera doing sit-ups and push-ups and and all the rest of it uh, but then his brother didn't want to do it either so it's part of his assessment he has to make up a fitness program and then it has to be filmed. So yeah, so this afternoon I need to do some exercises on camera. So <laughs> the joys of uh, distance learning. <laughs> I'm not really looking forward to it, but hopefully it will help him. Alright, so we're just coming up to our last few petals here. Sorry I'm a bit slow. So many people are faster, but I'm just really new to this kind of stuff, so whatever you see me doing is very simple stuff and hopefully yeah these will make sweet little embellishments last one and just come up and through there but um, actually I will leave the link below to the lady I watched making these so if you guys want a more of a close-up um, detailed sort of view of making these you can just look below and I will I will link her video and you can go and check it out all right guys so there is my little flower that's been done here and I'll go off now and I'm gonna finish these and I'll come back a little bit later and we'll play around, we'll cut these out in little squares and we'll play around with making some little journal embellishments. Um, I haven't played around in this journal yet, but, but we'll see. I haven't even decorated it yet, so I've literally just made, I think I'll, if I zoomed you guys out enough. Whoop, there you go. I have literally just made the outside and I've put some really rough pages in it. It's got this elastic piece here folds out it's got some lovely uh what do you call this stuff I'm trying to think what it's called it's for the inside of quilts um they sent all this in the in the uh, box but yeah you can get this sort of stuff anywhere so yeah so this this has just got a few pages in it a lot of plain ones a lot of splatters and inks and things like that their journals are very much like that they're very chaotic as they call them uh, i guess that's why they're called chaotic journal um so yeah so they send you papers and things with splatters and whatnot in them and yeah i didn't really decorate it too much but we'll, we'll see if we can make some some little embellishments to go in here maybe um such cool paper and so I highly recommend. Actually, I will link their channel below too. Because um, they do have a channel here on YouTube. It only has a few videos. Um, but, yeah. So that is my new journal. Alright, guys. So I am going to go and finish off my cup of tea. 
and then I'm going to finish off these little lazy daisy stitches and I will talk to you guys soon. Alright guys, so I'm back now and I have supervised the maths exam <laughs> and I have finished up these uh, lovely little flowers. I've taken them out of the embroidery hoop and I've cut them into these little squares so I can take these now and play around with them on some other little embellishments. So I, I made a couple of small ones as well but yeah, I don't know, they were a little bit tricky to do them when they got smaller so I think perhaps you would need to have um, less strands of a thread when you're doing smaller little flowers or something like that uh, so I'm not sure what I'll do with the smaller ones but anyway here's all my little flowers and I'm gonna play with those so I thought first up I'm gonna make a little booklet um, actually I don't think I'll be using those in this one so <laughs> we'll just quickly do this this one we are going to I'm gonna do two little booklets um, this one here I started already while I was supervising an exam it was a quiet time so I just popped this beautiful um, paper that I just received in the mail from the lovely Vicky she sent me a lovely little parcel full of goods and it was just such a lovely surprise Anyway, there's petals and things in this one, so I really wanted to play around with that. So I popped it on this handmade paper here that's been embossed, and then I hand-stitched with some embroidery thread around it. And then I thought for this one here, I've also grabbed some other paper that she sent me, which is some more, oh, I don't know, it's handmade paper, but I'm not sure what's inside, but it's, it's really, really interesting anyway, and I thought... Oh, that would be really nice and perhaps I could bring back some of these these little flowers here and maybe pop one on the front cover there so we'll just I've, I've prepared a few things so it won't take so so long and then I was thinking perhaps with everything that I make here today I'll just I'll bundle it up and I might do a little sort of mini giveaway if you guys are interested I'm, I'm not sure but if you are I'll I'll chat about that later anyway uh, whatever I make here I'll just bundle it up so we've got some ripped paper here some tea dyed paper some graph vintage stationery paper We've got all sorts. This here is one of my doily printables. I do collect these. I think if you guys have watched um, any of my haul videos and things, I do collect these and scan them for my own personal use. So that's a little printed out version. I thought maybe I will pop in there. So I might pop that in there and we'll just make this up really, really quickly. And what else? I'm sorry if you can hear my neighbours. Oh. I've got to remember that Thursday is the day that they're really loud because they're home. <laughs> and um, perhaps Thursdays are not a good day to be filming these kinds of videos. So, yeah. I think pop that one in there and what else? And tea dyed. And I'm doing these all different shapes. Um, I might tear that a little bit, but I don't mind if it comes out. Uh, you guys have seen me sort of do this kind of thing before anyway. So there you go. There's just a few little pages in there to make a little mini booklet. Uh, yeah, it's all coming out the side there, but if you don't like that when you receive it, you can just straighten it up if you like. So I'll pop that there, and then with this one here, actually I think I was going to um, use my tape, but... I didn't look for it, I didn't find it, so because I didn't want my glue coming through the fabric here and I'm going to sew it anyway, so that's why I was going to use my tape, but anyway, well, we'll just use this and hopefully it'll be okay. I'm just going to pop a tiny little bit of glue, not too much because it's just to hold it in place. Hopefully that glue doesn't come through. And I will sew that over on the machine a little bit later, I think. But let's pop that there and we'll just put some of these together. I've got a uh, tiny little doily here. I'm going to pop that in. What else? Got this really cool graph paper. 
some blue paper and some music paper here and this one which I think I'll just tear again because it's a little bit too long so that can, oh it's upside down I'll just turn that around pop that in there and actually I think we'll, we'll put some of this graph paper in here as well and then we've got this piece but I think we'll just we'll just leave that all right so I'm thinking that one there can go on there like that I'm thinking I might use embroidery thread again to just do a simple three what do you call it pamphlet stitch and then I might just make a little bow um, but I'll do that all off camera when I'm doing my sewing at the sewing machine so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me do all that. So there's my little books that are going to be assembled and to look kind of like little mini books that you can pop into your journals and things like that. So we'll pop those aside. And what else do we have? We've got some tags here. So these are some made from some handmade paper. It's kind of a sort of a a light purple sort of color there are sort of one's a bit lighter than the other but that's the way it goes with handmade paper so we're going to pull over our our little daisies here and we'll look and see which ones we want probably would have been better if I sort of pre-chose them I'm not really liking that green too much actually oh the blue's quite nice I might do one with blue and hmm, let's have a look and then I've got some fabrics here that the lovely Vicky also sent me and I thought I might play around with those a little bit um, so I cut out some little pieces of fabric some little strips to sort of back these sort of give it I don't know something else to sort of look at here like that and then I'm gonna sew that and then I was going to add some of this stuff I'm not too sure you guys call this uh, but you can often find this in an op shop as well I have a bunch of it um, but it's oh goodness what is it you guys would know it's like a knitting kind of thing and it's it's brilliant to use and I thought that would make a really cool sort of topper the top of our little tag like that will obviously cut a bit shorter but um but yeah it might be quite cool at the top there so we'll just push those out of the way a little bit and we might glue this down I'm gonna stitch it anyway but just use a tiny little piece of glue to go behind this um, little flower here and this one I think it's about there, I'm not sure, let's see pull that down a little bit here and that can kind of just sit there and I will stitch it a little bit later but for now also I might use this Kind of knitting stuff to go through the tag here if I can manage <laughs> it's a little bit tricky with these uh, handmade paper tags because I don't like to pull the top too tight otherwise it will rip because the paper can be quite fragile as well so I'll just try and pull that without sort of breaking it Alright, and then I'm going to just trim this off a little bit. And that's going to go like that. I'm going to pop that in my little pile over here for sewing later on. And with this one, 
We've got some more fabric here, but I haven't chosen what I would like. There's so many pieces here, and it was... Uh, I'm not too sure. Wilmington prints, but just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Something like this in a shop here would, would cost an absolute fortune. I don't imagine it would have been a very cheap thing to sort of buy even in the in the US or anything either. So I was looking for something maybe with a little bit of blue because this flower's blue here, so but I don't want anything too dark. Oh what's this one? Maybe that one there is quite nice. We'll use that. And I like um, the way that that's been cut along the edge there, so I'm going to use that. So I'll just cut that there. And probably about there, I think. So let's see how that looks. Some of these squares, they're not cut evenly either. Maybe I should trim that up a little bit. But, you know, that's not really me. I like a little bit of wonkiness anyway. Some of that thread is going to have to be tucked behind there a bit. So, let's pop this one here. So I think that'll do for that one. I'm going to grab my uh, netting here again, actually. I wonder if this piece will do. I've got a little piece here, but I think it's a little bit too thick, so I might just trim that up. Yeah, so I'm hoping I don't get too distracted by the neighbour's music today. Because I've had it going since I was, my son was doing his exam and they were uh, being very, very loud and distracting him. Uh, but then they've turned it off. So I'm hoping that they don't start it back up when I'm uh, trying to concentrate here with you guys. I'll just pull this through. This is such fun stuff to use. And you can... Um, tea dye it and that as well. Give it a little bit more colour so it's not sort of stark white. Mm, sorry guys if you can hear them, I apologise. Neighbours from hell. <laughs> Maybe some of you guys can relate. <laughs> and we'll just trim that. So that's there. Pop that there. Which way did it go? Maybe about that way, I think. A little bit of fabric. That's a simple little tag here. That can go with this one here. And we'll pop those aside in our little sewing pile. Our booklets. And what else do we have? We've got a few pieces here that I thought we could decorate up. I'm um, not too sure what I'm going to do with these though, so we will see. I think pink on pink always goes quite nicely, doesn't it? So maybe that can go there and then purple's really, really sweet as well. Or yellow. We haven't used yellow yet. We might use, yeah, we'll use yellow. I'm not really sure if I'm going to decorate these ones up anymore. These can go on other things or they can be used as is. Or if you have like a journal and, let me pull my journal out here. A piece of paper, a plain piece of paper here. You could just stitch this and then use it on the corner here and stitch down here and here and then let's see 
and you could pop a little tag in there. It can act like a little um, corner tuck down here. Sorry guys, my son's just come down to get his uh, computer for school or his laptop. And after I finish this, I'll be off to film the fitness video. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wish me luck with that one. Uh, what else do we have? I was kind of maybe wondering... What should we do with this? Maybe we will just leave them as is. And, uh, he's got, sorry, my son, he has the giggles. I could just see him at the corner of my eye and he's laughing. I might trim that down a little bit. He's probably laughing at the fact that I've got to do a fitness video. <laughs> oh, dear. I might leave these as is, but... Hmm... It would be really good to back them with some paper as well. So after I'm done stitching that on there, I might back that with some tea stain paper. And then maybe it could be like a little square journaling spot that could go into a pocket or maybe even... Sorry guys. <laughs> I should have probably uh, thought a little bit more about this. We've got some... I love this lace. It's just gorgeous. I'm just going to grab some of that. Probably didn't just cut enough. If I back it, it could be like a, a little mini square tag even. I could do one like that and maybe leave one without. So that could be used as maybe a corner uh, tuck spot or something. So. I think I'm going to do that with those two guys, so I'm going to leave those ones, pop them over here with the rest of my sewing, sorry, my little sewing pile, <laughs> so I don't want to drag you guys across to the sewing machine with me. And here I've got a couple of little pockets, you know, I love to use these um, same little pockets, Tim Holtz, what's it called? I always forget what the die is called, <laughs> uh, but it's Tim Holtz one, it's used for um, gift cards, something like that. So I was going to decorate those ones up as well. Pink would go nicely on the white. I'm really not leaning towards this green colour for some reason. Oh, that's actually really nice there. Maybe I shouldn't have been so quick to rule out the green. <laughs> I just wasn't gravitating towards the colour, but actually it looks quite quite sweet on this little pocket here. So I might... Oh, there's blue though. Oh, blue looks really sweet. And I actually love this little daisy because if you can tell, it is completely wonky. Can you see? And I love that. That is just so, so cute and quirky. Just gonna trim that up a little bit guys. I might use that one on there. We're gonna get rid of the green again I think. And we've used blue, pink and yellow. Maybe we should use purple but I'm not really liking the purple either. Oh the pink goes nicely. Okay so we are going to use the pink on these, and I think, what have we got in here? Let's pull out all this lace and stuff. So many bits and pieces. I'm really, really looking forward to moving, and then I can sort everything out, because right now, it just, everything is such a mess, so... It's, uh, it's really, really difficult for me to actually sort of make things um, properly when things aren't organised. I feel really cluttered. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to moving, which yeah, hopefully will be, I'm going to say, the next six months because they are starting our build on Monday. So I say four to six months, something like that. So yeah. It'll be fun to watch the progress happen, actually. I don't really know what I'm doing here, guys. 
I'm just putting some lace there. That's really, really cute. I'm wondering if I should put some lace down the bottom there or if I should keep it just on the top. I think I got it from this piece here, which is, oh goodness, I think I got this from an op shop. And I just love to, to cut these pieces up here. So let's cut a little bit more and see what it looks like. And I have to sew this before I seal down the little pocket as well. Oh, actually, that's that's quite sweet with both of them. I, I think. What do you guys think? It's not very straight right now, but I'll straighten it up and adjust it a little bit more. But I'm thinking that's quite sweet on the front of that pocket there. Uh, so I'll pop that aside in my little sewing pile. And with this one here, I don't really want to do the same, but that looked really, really nice. What's this? This is like a little piece, I think. Is that off here? Oh yeah. I just cut it off the edge here. Sometimes when you have these, um, they're like doilies and things like that. I love to use these, these little scalloped edges on the top so maybe we could do that here but I'm not sure that's gonna look so good one on the top and one on the bottom actually I wanted to use some more of this stuff as well hmm I really love this netting, it's just gorgeous. I might play around with that a little bit. Actually what I'll do is I'll glue these into place while I'm on camera with you as well. I'm nearly out of glue, story of my life. I'm thinking I'm going to pop that, that side up. And that there, and it's really, really nice if you get threads and things happening sort of off the sides, but sometimes it can look a little bit. I'll try and pull it a little bit. Mm, I think I've probably gone the wrong way with it. <laughs> it's not working out guys <laughs> okay pull some of that and now it's just have the threads everywhere okay so yeah it's roughed up a little bit now all those aside oh that's nice I might do that with the rest of them actually on my tags and things I'll make the threads come out a little bit so oh, some glue here yes yeah, so I was hoping to actually do a few videos for you guys when I'm away um, depending I had a few ideas I thought perhaps you guys might like to see a bit of a travel vlog so um, I'll make a video of our journey um, into sort of country New South Wales and then I thought another video maybe on the antiques and the thrift store shopping. Um, a lot of people I think would prefer for me to be in the sort of thrift shops talking in that. But um, it can be a little bit tricky to not get people in my video. There's that problem. And then there's also when stores will use like music and stuff and if it's on your video then it's it's like a copyright thing so I worry about that but but I, I will definitely try to um, and if I can't then I was thinking maybe I'll try and do a voiceover or, or something like that to show you or just to chat while I'm in, in the thrift store and tell you what's what um, and then another thing was I planned to bring my steamer down and do some more eco prints sort of 
while I'm down there if I can find some new leaves and things like that I'm I'm always interested especially if it's it's autumn now but I'm kind of thinking it's a little bit early for the beautiful colors to come out where I'm heading I'm not sure I'll just have to see when I'm there um, so we'll, we'll see anyway there, there might be two to three videos coming for you guys in the next week so that's glued on there and then with this one we'll fray this one up as well yeah but it's it's still a little bit rainy here so I'm hoping it's not going to be raining tomorrow especially when we're on the road because oh, that's that's not going to be fun <laughs> okay so I'm going to glue this here at the top Mm, maybe this way. And we'll sort of pop that there, I think. Put a little bit of glue, and hopefully, it doesn't show too much through the fabric. It's been okay so far. Mm. Turn that around, sorry guys. And I really wanted to be adding some of this chul. But I wanted to tie a little bow with it, I think, around the bottom. That makes sense. So after I've finished stitching and glued this together, I'm going to tie a little bow loosely around and then glue it. So I'll leave that like that for now and you guys can see when I'm done how this one will look. Alright, and then I have these two little tiny little flowers that I thought maybe I could make some little scrappy embellishments sort of with. But my tub is all the way over there and it's actually, <laughs> you remember it used to be a tiny little container I had at the side of me here? Well, yeah, that grew. And now I've got like a really big um, <laughs> storage container. Oh my goodness, you guys, it's just awful. These scraps, they just multiply. So I might just grab some scraps. What's this one? Hang on, guys. Just bear with me a second. Let me just pull out a handful of things. See what I can find. Hmm. I'm not sure, guys. Let's see. We've got fabrics, music paper. Always use music paper. I always hold on to these little pieces of vellum as well. So let's see if we can make up some sort of little scrappy embellishments here. We've got no plan whatsoever. Use some vellum. Got our little flower here. And what's this fabric? It's very, very pretty fabric. Oh, there's blue. Well, that's pretty. Maybe we'll use that. We'll just move some of that stuff out of the way because. Okay. A little bit better for you, and I might zoom you in a little bit. Okay. Let's grab our fabric here. We'll sort of throw some little embellishments. Make sure you've got some um, tulle here as well. I think, is that, is that what it's called? Tulle? Tulle? I don't know. It's netting of some kind anyway. And then after I'm done, I'm going to try and make up a little, just a tiny little, um, gift package kind of thing and it can be a little giveaway for you guys I think 
because uh, I've been really slack with my journal that I was making. Um, anybody who knows me knows that I am a serial procrastinator and <laughs> yet some things just take me longer to get done so I'll get there eventually but for now I'm gonna I think I'll give this away to you guys. Oh, so that there and a little piece of fabric maybe. Oh, let's put it. It's not very flat, is it? I'm just gonna pop it at the top there though. Okay, it can go and sit there. And have some netting as well. No, I think I'll just leave that off. Alright. It's like a tiny little scrappy embellishment that I'll do some stitching. I might even change the colour of my thread in my sewing machine and do some pink or something like that. So we'll pop that one aside. And then this one here is purple. I'm going to trim this down. But yeah, it was really difficult to stitch this little one. See, it's not really... It's still a little flower, but yeah. Ooh, this is some of that paper that that... Uh, Vicky sent me. It's got all these fibers and things and it's really, really amazing. I think she made it herself actually and I'll definitely have to pick her brain if that's the case because I don't think I could get my paper this thin or put fibers and things in it like this and have them stay sort of inside. I have tried some glue. Um, I have tried before but it sort of just sits on the top and not inside so yeah. Definitely gonna have to pick your brain Vicky. I've got a little bit of lace here. Let's pop that on. Mm, what else? Music paper. Just take some of this book page, I think. And pop that on there. Got a couple of small little embellishments with our um, little daisy. Daisies here. Okay, so I'll zoom back out for you guys. Hopefully, I go the right way. Yep. Okay, there you go. Alright, so I'm going to head off now and sew some um, all of these bits together. And when I come back, we'll package them up and I'll chat to you guys about. Um, giving this stuff away so all right guys I'll talk to you soon all right guys so I'm back now and I've finished um, sewing everything together so I thought maybe we'll just go through everything here and then I'm just going to package it up and and we'll have a chat so move some things out the way I'll start with these little booklets here so this one here is um, one that I decorated with my my little lazy daisy flower here and yeah it's just uh, mixed little papers it's quite small let me see sorry guys let me measure it so yeah it's around about just over four inches by three inches wide or oh, probably more than that because that comes out a little bit so so here's this little booklet just got a, a mixture of little pages in it different sizes, torn edges, that kind of thing. So a little mini booklet that you can pop in your journal there. And I use some embroidery thread to, to sew it and put a little bow on the end. So there's that one. Then there is this one with the lovely paper that Vicky sent me. And she did hand make this um, actually. I reread through her um, card and she did, which is amazing. Um, and the hand stitched frame here and inside you've got my little print
printable doily there and it's the same sorts of paper in there for you and it's about the same size as well. So there's um, two little booklets and then we've got our two tags here. Let's pop that over here. Uh, so yep, they're essentially the same. They've just got different coloured flowers, different colour fabric. Uh, they're embossed and they've got this lovely netting sort of topper there and it's been stitched on. So there's those two. I'm going to pop those aside. Then we've got two little pockets and yep, I stitched it on them, sealed them up. This one here, I wrapped a little bit of that netting, that chawl around. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's... It's on there. It's not glued down, so if you want to glue it down, you can. Or if you don't like it, slip it off. So I just thought it looked quite sweet and it added some extra texture there. So some little pockets for you to pop in your journal. And we have two little scrappy embellishments here. That one goes that way, actually. Um, just little stitched flowers on there again. And this one here I made into kind of like a little square tag and I backed it with some tea stain paper so you can actually write on that and this one here I left plain on the back and you can use that as like a corner tuck or whatever if you want to do the same sort of thing with that you can or whatever else so I sort of gave the option of two there and then I thought I'll throw in the rest of these little flowers that I didn't use so I might package everything up so I'm going to use my favourite, favourite um, little bags that I get from AliExpress. I just got a, a new shipment uh, order of them come in today. So I usually put my little scrappy embellishments and things in them. So I'm just going to pop those in here. We'll seal them up. To go in our bag. And then I'm going to grab some of these. Actually I'll grab two. And I might um, pop the booklets in one. And yet yeah, this, this giveaway will be uh, worldwide so it doesn't matter where you live. I will post it out to you. I'll pop that in there. And do that. I wonder if I should have gotten a smaller bag, but if I decide later on, I'll just I'll just seal that up there anyway. There's your little bags here, and we'll pop we'll pop these in here as well, and our little tags. Actually, got the pockets there as well. I'm really, really, really loving these pockets. They're so sweet. If you guys want to see perhaps how they look, let's open up a page. And a lovely grungy journal. And here you go. You can pop it down there or something. Just really, really sweet. Add some decoration to your page there. Anyway, we'll pop those in here as well. And any other surprises I throw in, you know, maybe I'll pop some birds and things in as well later on. Um, this giveaway is going to be open for a week, so uh, once I come back from my little trip and I'll, I'll keep an eye on the comments and things like that. And we'll pop these in here. And a little scrappy embellishments can be thrown in there. Okay, so seal that up. I can get this off. I will probably hand wrap it and all that. I tend to do that with a lot of my stuff. Alright guys, so that's that. Two little, little bags full of things here that I'm going to be giving away to you. So... How do these things work? I don't know. Um, just leave a comment if you're interested in this as a giveaway. And like I said, it's worldwide. Doesn't matter where you're from. You could be from Timbuktu. Doesn't matter. You can enter. Um, just leave a comment saying you would like to enter the giveaway. And I will 
pop your name in I'll figure that out later um, and I'm gonna leave this uh, giveaway open for one week so today is Thursday um, Queensland time so I will do the draw next Thursday and I hope you enjoyed this video and I want to say a big big thank you to everyone who has sent me things over the past few weeks Sue, um, Margretha, um, Vicky, more there's just there's a lot of people who have sent me things and I want to say a big thank you to everybody I'm sorry if I've forgotten anyone um, thank you so so much for your lovely packages they've really really brightened my day and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you probably when I'm on the road tomorrow uh, but the videos won't go up till next week ish depending when I can edit and all that kind of stuff so I will talk to you in my next videos anyway guys. I hope you have a lovely weekend ahead and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.